Hiya! Today is a World Mental Health Day and on this special day I want to be the most honest I have ever been on this channel with all of you. I want to tell you about how I managed to become a millionaire. I get a lot of messages from people right now, especially students who tell me they feel under pressure, they are afraid if they fail they will not succeed in life and apparently COVID has influenced the way people are passing their exams so people are very scared. I get these messages a lot, a lot of people are under pressure so I want to open up with you and be very honest about myself because who you're looking at right now is one of the biggest failures you can possibly imagine. For most of my life, I failed miserably. I was a bad person. It's not easy to open up and speak about these things, but I have accepted myself, my old me. I was a bully. I was bad to humans, to other people. I was that bad kid for most of my life, all the way until I was 22. I had no ambitions, I was lazy, I was lost, I had nothing, I barely passed school and I had teachers tell me I will be no one in life. That's who I was, the biggest failure. And yet I still managed to become a millionaire. So how did I do it? <laughs> Honesty number one. A lot of you know me as Aegon, this is my name, but what you don't know is that this name I have actually given myself when I was 22. It's not my real name. All the way till 22 I was living as Damien. That's my past name and my past life. But at some point I realized that the only way I can actually succeed in life is if I make extreme steps. So I changed my name to Aegon. Another honesty, why did I name myself Aegon? <laughs> I chose this name to remind myself of the agony I was going through all the way until then. I was so lost and so unhappy that I genuinely felt hopeless and the only thing I could think of was to start a new life. So I changed my name and I left my country to really start fresh as a new person. And that's exactly how not only my name Aegon from the Agony was born, but also this <laughs> Project Nightfall was born from that because I did it over one nightfall. On that night, I changed my life to lead to what it is right now. It took me years, but it's that one nightfall, that one moment that I said to myself, I need to change. And that decision led me very far in life. So now, here we are, 22, new name, new ambition. I genuinely started a new life. I was introducing myself as a new person. And on the beginning, I felt like I was lying to myself because I started thinking that I can actually succeed. I can be someone. But I believed in it for years day after day until it became who I am right now. I self-persuaded myself that I can be someone despite my horrible childhood because that's why I was so lost for all these years. I had a very tough upbringing. I had a violent mother living with me all the way until she died when I was 11. I had a dad who left me. I had spoiling grandparents who never expected me to be anyone other than just eat food and that led me to being so lost and unsuccessful in the previous life a failure and yet I still managed to make it so I want to use this story this honesty with you because I feel I can be example to all the people who feel like they failed Everything is possible for everyone and on this World Mental Health Day, it's so important for me to remind you that. Because what I didn't say yet is that, I think most of you maybe realize it by now, the millionaire that I am, I don't speak about money. Money was never significant to me. In fact, <laughs> 
Last year was the first year I have ever paid taxes in my life, because all the way until then I never made enough money to be in that bracket that you pay taxes. That's how much I didn't care about money but the dream. What I mean when I say a millionaire is right there. <laughs> you are what makes me feel like a millionaire and today we are hitting 5 million followers. And I don't even like to call you guys followers, I call you my family, that's where Night Farm came from. I genuinely love you and I cannot express how much I believe in you because I feel like I became the voice to so many people on the other side who feel hopeless, who feel lost. I feel I'm that voice because I know exactly how it feels. That is something that one day you will realize when you overcome all of your struggles. I understand you. When I talk to people who struggle, I don't go from psychological knowledge or, or reading Google. <laughs> I genuinely feel it because I know how it feels to be empty, to, be, to have anxiety, to be scared for the future. I know all these feelings and when I overcome it doesn't mean that I don't remember them. As a matter of fact, I embrace them because this is what makes me me. Thank you for making me a millionaire. And I wish you on that special World Mental Health Day to lose a little bit of pressure and believe in yourself. And on that journey, let my story remind you that someone who's genuinely for most of his life was a failure, managed to overcome everything, start a new life and become someone that I can genuinely say I'm proud of. I'm proud of myself because I know how far I've come. And if I could do it, this guy here, if I could do it, you can do it too. I'm not special. I just, I'm just a guy with a big dream and I chase it.